Hey guys, Augie Johnson, BallerBootCamp.com. I got a how-to video for you guys today, how to spin move. And I'm gonna be breaking it down, showing you the finer details. I'm gonna give you some secrets, and I'm gonna show you guys how not to spin move. So watch the whole video so that you guys can really get the most out of these tips. All right, so when you guys spin move, you guys need to, when you approach the defender, you guys need to use a pound dribble so that you can spin back and create as much space as possible between you and the defender. Okay, whether you wanna take a jump shot or get to the basket or whatever is up to you, but you wanna make sure that you use that pound dribble so that you can really carry the ball back all the way around and create the most space possible. All right, so let me show you guys how some players that don't have good ball handling skills, that aren't advanced yet, how they do the spin move and how this is wrong, okay? So a lot of players will approach the defender and they'll do the spin move like this. Okay, that's wrong, okay? That, that's gonna get the ball stolen from you when you come here and then you grab the ball and spin, that's gonna get ripped by this defender who's gonna reach around and take that ball, okay? So when you guys do a spin move, you wanna protect the ball and like I said, you wanna use that pound dribble to go from Boom, here, all the way around, so that you can blow by the defender by shielding him with your body and going by him, okay? So, detail number one, pound dribble. Detail number two, take the ball as far as you can away from the defense. Now, tip number three is to take as big a steps as you can as possible. So, when I approach the defender and I hit him with this tip, I'm going to take as many steps as I can to create as much space as I can to get away from you. Okay? So I'll show you guys what it looks like full speed so you guys can see. Then you guys can start adding this to your game. Okay? Into my shot. That's a lot of space with just one move. I don't think I can get this much with a through the legs or with a um, regular crossover, but with a with spin move, you can. Okay? Another good thing about the spin move is you can use spin moves as a counter. Okay? So maybe I cross up my defender, he reads me, he cuts me up, now he's beat because I'm going to spin back in the opposite direction and now he's totally beat and I'm free to shoot or get to the basket. Alright, so that's it for this. This is How To Crossover. Hope you guys like it. Please click like. Please subscribe to my channel. Please head over to BallerBootCamp.com. It's my blog. I got a ton of cool stuff over there and I even have a free workout for you guys. That's going to show you how I was able to increase my scoring average from 1.9 points per game to 15.5 points per game in college in one offseason using this workout routine. So it's yours free and I'll see you guys over there. Until the end.